Gaslands Mike here. Welcome to Planet Smasher Games. Some of you might know that I recently quit my job so that I can work on Gaslands and my other games pretty much full time. It's a bit of an experiment and I don't know how long I can make it last, but I'm going to enjoy it whilst I'm doing it. I'm happy to admit I haven't been able to make a huge amount of time for Gaslands over the last couple of years, partly because of other games, but also because of some frankly overwhelming work commitments. And that's been disappointing because Gaslands is my baby. I'm making this video today because I want to know the answer to a few questions and I'm hoping that you can help me out. I'm chatting to Osprey at the moment about what to do next with Gaslands and I want to know what you think. It's linked in the description below but I'm also going to spam it across the various social channels and communities of Gaslands. I've got a survey, it's not very many questions but it would really help me figure out what the right thing to do next with the game is. If you could click the link and take a few minutes to tell me what you think that would really help me. Okay, so what do I want to know? I want to know if you've played Gaslands in the last year. I want to know if you've built cars for Gaslands in the last year. Do you play with the sponsors and the perks? Or do you just play with the vehicle customization and weapon rules? Which scenarios do you play? Do you play kind of all of them or do you mostly just play one? More than anything, I'm really interested to know what first attracted you to Gaslands. Was it the setting? Was it the post-apocalyptic Mad Max death race? Was it the cost? Was it the low price point? Was it the fact that you could get started just with some toy cars and the rule book? Was it the game? Did someone show you it or you watched it online and you thought, yeah, that looks like fun? Or was it the customization of the cars? Was it the hobby aspect that first grabbed you? I want to know which of those first attracted you to Gaslands, but I also want to know what's your favorite now? Has it changed? I also want to know when you tell other people about Gaslands, which I hope you do, which one of those is the thing that you bring up first? Is it the cost? Is it the hobby? Is it the game? Is it the setting? The last thing I'm really interested in is which Gaslands communities you value the most. Which do you visit? Which have you stopped visiting? And how could they be improved? I might be able to help there. I freely admit I've been sleeping on the job a bit when it comes to community management in the Gaslands communities I set up. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting stuck back into that. Where do you think I'm missing out on good Gaslands stuff? Where is there cool stuff that I'm not looking at? I've got an idea thinking about maybe starting a regular show on this channel where I highlight some of the best stuff that's going on around the Gaslands communities. That's partly because I want to get my hands dirty again, but it's also because I want an opportunity to sort of direct people's attention to where I think the cool stuff is happening. So I can't give you any promises about what's happening with Gaslands right now, but I do promise that if you fill in the survey, I will read what you write. I'm not going to ask you what you think can be improved with the game. I've got plenty of ideas already. That's partly why I quit my job. I've got work on Gaslands to do. All right, this is Gaslands Mike. Hit that subscribe button or all your shift results will turn into hazard icons. Thanks for listening and I'll catch you later. Bye bye. <laughs>